Hey everybody, this is Alex Terrace, healthhacksreview.com. So this video is going to be about just a couple of the very common myths, deceptions, scams, however you want to look at it, with alkaline water machines. Um, these ionizer machines, so ionizers in that process creates alkaline pH water. There's several of them out there. They've been around a while. They are legitimate to a certain extent. However, how they are portrayed is usually done with a lot of false information. And there are some key things I'll tell you in this video on how many of them stop being therapeutic um, after the first week or two. So let's get into it. pH stands for potential for hydrogen, okay? That's what pH is. So the first deception is that these machines will try to put the focus on alkalinity. Um, not, I'm sorry, not alkalinity, water that is alkaline. So the, there's already a difference right there. Alkalinity, water that has alkalinity means it has some sort of minerals or some sort of way of buffering, okay? So minerals and a capacity to buffer acids and things like that. So that's alkalinity. Al water is alkaline, you know, they have those little tests, little testing strips or pH meters that they're giving out with their ionizer machines. And people think that it's a good thing drinking this water. Okay, well, the way you know that's complete bullshit, basically, is that you can take that high pH water, put one drop of lemon juice in it, now test that pH. It will plummet those levels, okay? So the acid in your stomach is way stronger than lemon. So drinking all the alkaline water immediately gets neutralized by stomach acid. Okay, again, water that has minerals in it, or some buffering or bicarbonates in those natural springs, that's something totally different. Your body can actually work with that to buffer the different um, pH ranges of different aspects of your body. To clear up one concept, also misconception is that a whole alkaline body is not a healthy body. Um, only really the blood has to be in a very narrow parameter of alkaline uh, pH. Uh, other areas of the body may be healthier to be in an acidic range. Um, there is also really healthy water out there, spring water, that naturally is a little bit more in the acid direction as well. We, so we find that in nature as well. Okay, so the big, big, um, so that's a big kind of misconception. Um, a lot of these companies are misleading you to focus on alkaline water. Why? because they want the discussion not to be about where the research is, which is pH, potential for hydrogen. They don't want the talk to be about hydrogen, which is really what's responsible for all the health benefits that we see in the 1,000 studies plus 600 peer-reviewed. So hydrogen is amazing stuff. Really, you should be using this testing reagent. So check this out, everybody. It's called H2 Blue. And so... H2 Sciences is one of the companies that makes this. The whole industry uses it. Everybody who's you know, either studying hydrogen in university settings um, to um, manufacturing these machines. So this basically will turn clear in the presence of dissolved hydrogen or molecular hydrogen, as it's also called. Called. Uh, called. So if it does not, if it changes blue, that means there's nothing in there. So here we are. Measures dissolved hydrogen gas in water produced from a variety of H2 water generating technologies, which is what we're talking about in this video. Alkaline ionizers, hydrogen infusion machines, tablet sticks. So there's other ways to make hydrogen water. Um, and I'll share with you the more superior approach in a second. But either way, this is some basic stuff. So the question is, hmm, how come these other ionizer companies out there, or alkaline water machines, are not really offering or telling consumers how to actually check for hydrogen since that's the most therapeutic aspect of the water potentially running through these machines. And if you don't know these machines are using an electrolysis process or so just Google or Wikipedia electrolysis. Here's a little chart. You might have learned this in science class. You have an, an anode cathode running different um, DC electrical flow and this is causes an ionization in water. And you can just kind of read about this a little bit here. But either way, the bottom line is this, is that through this process, hydrogen is created. We should be able to then check for that amount with this reagent. But these companies do not talk about hydrogen, except for one company. And that same company 
with their machines is also selling the reagent because there's nothing to hide. What is there to hide with some of these other machines? Very simple. I don't have to name the names. If you just Google alkaline water machines, ionizers, you come up with the top brands. Been around a while. They heavily market, make lots of money. Um, they don't want to talk about hydrogen because within the first week or two, what happens is as you run water through these metal plates in the machine, what happens is the minerals in the water will actually bind on to the anode in particular. And you get a little bit on the cathode too. But anyways, once that, that binds onto it from water that's being processed, it renders it useless for producing hydrogen. You produce no more hydrogen past one to two weeks with every ionizer and alkaline uh, water machine except for one brand. <clears throat> to clarify, what these companies don't tell you, let's just do a little search here. What these companies don't tell you, and they do sell you the cleaning kit, the citric acid, um, is that here's a few Life Air as well. Um, you know, you can go on eBay, you can get them all over the place. You know, the breast brands here. What they don't tell you basically is that you have to clean these machines every one to two weeks. So here we are, aqua ionized, blah, 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 as well, platinum. There's also a Jupiter, there's also a Mega, um, there's also a Kangen, you know, it's easy to find all these. But anyways, all these machines pretty much function identically. They all have the same problem, um, is that again, you have the mineral buildup, they stop producing hydrogen. You don't believe me, if you have one of those machines already, get the blue testing reagent. I'll put the link in the description. Go see for yourself. Now try to clean your machine. It should probably start to create hydrogen again. So they'll usually bury it in the manual. So they're selling these multi-thousand dollar machines. Now who wants to clean their machine every few days if you're in a commercial setting or at home, you know, every one to two weeks for the rest of your life after you spend thousands of dollars? The other reason they don't want to talk about that is because there is one brand that has a patented system where they flip polarities See right here, they flip polarities on both of these. And what that does is if when the calcium, let's say use that mineral, tries to go to bond on the anode, whoop, it flips. And now it's moving towards the cathode. It never has a chance to bind onto these plates. It's ingenious. Nobody can infringe on that patent. So in other words, if you, if you are then testing and finding, hey guys, how come I'm not getting any hydrogen, you know, like uh, after a week or two or whatever? Um, and then you found a company that said, hey, you don't have to clean our machine, it's always producing hydrogen. I mean, it's an easy, obvious answer, is it not, to on which machine would be superior? So they just, it's to protect their, really their sales margins. That's why companies do not talk about the testing of hydrogen. They don't talk about the benefits of hydrogen. They try to make the conversation about alkaline water, which is ridiculous. It's not found on any biological science, any truth, which then gives, every, gives it a bad name. And really it's unfortunate because everybody should learn about hydrogen. There really is a thousand plus studies. And you look at these studies and I can, I can, if anybody emails me, I'll send them to you. They are incredible, so therapeutic, in some respects more therapeutic than oxygen therapy, which is really impressive. So hydrogen is great stuff. You can make it forever with these machines. Um, I'll put in the description below which brand actually has the machine that you do not have to ever clean for the rest of your life. And for that reason, it also has a lifetime warranty. Um, <clears throat> one last thing is the plate, the plates again here should be platinum coated. That prevents them from corroding and lasting a lifetime. A lot of these machines do not platinum coat. I know Kangen does platinum coat. Um, and then one other brand, uh, so if they're not even platinum coated generally, even if you clean them after several years, you may just stop, you'll start to produce basically less and less and less hydrogen. The arrays just really start to break down over time. So at, at minimum, they should have that if you currently have one and you don't want to sell it or get a new one that I would recommend. Um, yeah, anyways, so that's pretty much it. So alkaline, total BS. You can get that blue testing reagent, as I showed you over here. If you currently have this machine, 
or you want to test something else that's creating hydrogen, this is the exact tester that you do. And then I will show you the other machine in the description below of this video on which machine, again, has that patented system that flips the polarity so it constantly creates hydrogen, okay? And that particular brand, there's a lot of big names in the health industry that actually use that machine. They just don't promote it for whatever reason. Although I do know that um, Mike Adams of Natural News is finally, after years now, getting around to actually promoting it and uh, doing a whole piece on it where he goes over reviewing that machine um, and then also getting into their whole house filter as well. So they do a very good whole house filter um, that's very unique, basically, in terms of some of its elements for filtering water. The other thing I would mention is that machine or the company below in the description they also structure the water and uh, currently no other ionizer machines on the market or alkaline machines for that matter structure the water. So they have a pretty advanced structuring method. The other patent that they have which is unique is you do not have to make alkaline water to produce hydrogen with their machine. So anybody that's really low in stomach acid might have an issue with drinking alkaline, high alkaline water all the time. It's very unnatural and strange to do. So <clears throat> that is an issue, especially in older folks have very low stomach acid or those with major digestive issues. Drinking a lot of alkaline pH water may potentially give you more of an issue. So this other one brand has a patent on they can create hydrogen, but again, without affecting the pH, just keeping it neutral. So I think those are all very important things. Um, and uh, yeah, if you have any questions about this at all, feel free to reach out to me on healthhacksreview.com. Thanks for watching.